Hey Smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. We are doing Maddie's today. So I was out at Sally's the other day and I came across this gorgeous green color and it reminded me of fall and I had to have it. So I'm really excited that I'm finally getting to use it and I'm going to be showing you how I did it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Mwah. Okay, we are starting with a fully prepared workstation that has everything you need for a salon perfect mani from the comfort of your own home. So the next time you're thinking of treating yourself to a mani, you can skip the salon. There's never a bad time to treat yourself to a mani, and I've been way too busy lately, but today I got time, girl. So you always want to start with nice clean nails. So step one is to do that. You're going to clean your nails. I'm going to be using a mixture of fresh lemon juice and warm water and I'm going to use this to naturally clean and whiten my nails. Trust me guys, it works. There's a few different mixtures you can use to do this. You can also use warm water and soap or um, baking soda and warm water as well. But you're going to leave your nails in for a total of 10 minutes. About halfway through at the five minute mark, I like to take mine out and use a nail brush to give it a little scrub underneath my nails and around my nail beds just to make sure I get them nice and clean. After I do that, I put them back in for about another five minutes and then I take them out and use a tile to get them nice and dry. Alrighty. So after you've done that, we're going to move on using an orange stick to clean any remaining dirt and debris underneath my nails that I didn't get with the brush. And they're getting pretty long right now, so guys, honestly, you never know what's underneath those things. So you want to make sure you get them nice and clean. There I am, hard at work. Now I'm gonna use a cuticle pusher to push my cuticles back, and that mixture of lemon water actually did help soften my cuticles a little bit. Typically, I would use a cuticle softener, but I didn't today because they're already nice and soft from the, the lemon water that we used. And I'm gonna push my cuticle back on each nail, and it just gives the manicure an overall better look. Then I'm gonna come in with the buffer in step five and I'm gonna buff my nails. Now this buffer isn't very coarse at all. They run just like nail files, so you can get really fine ones or really coarse ones. And I usually use a nice fine one because I'm using my natural nails here. Now when you use acrylics, you're probably gonna use something more coarse, but not today, guys. So we're gonna buff them to a nice shine and then I'm gonna use my lemon water to remove the dust. Okay, so you're just gonna rinse, dip, and towel dry. And now I'm gonna come in with, again, a fine file, and I'm just gonna shape my nails a little bit. And you can put them in any shape that you like. I typically go for a somewhere in between square and oval. And then after I'm done there, I just give them a wash in the sink. And we're ready to apply our base coat. Today for a base coat, I'm using Sally Hansen Complete Care 7-in-1 Nail Treatment. This is like a miracle in a bottle. You can use it as a base coat, you can use it as a top coat, it also can be used as a hardener. It's, it's amazing. I almost went with a different color, but then of course I chose to stick with our OPI Infinite Shine color in this magnificent green. Now the actual name of this color is Susie, the First Lady of Nails. How appropriate. And I love the cute little names that they give these polishes. It just makes it that much more fun. But this is a brilliant color, guys. And this brand goes on really smooth. I don't know anyone who doesn't love OPI. I mean, come on. So this is coat number one. Gonna go through each nail, make sure you're nice and neat. Stay within the lines, or try to stay within the lines. <laughs> okay, so we 
let coat number one dry and then I always apply two coats so that you don't have any see-through areas and everything looks nice and opaque and you get the true color that way. Sometimes after just one coat you don't get the true color. All right, so step number 11, we're gonna do a little cleanup. Now this is a trick that I learned from my sister a really long time ago. You take a little bit of nail polish remover and or acetone, you use an orange stick, the pointy end, and you put a little piece of cotton ball on the end, you dip that in your nail remover, and then you use that to, do, to clean up your cuticles. And it works, guys, it works like a charm. Then, my favorite part is our big shiny top coat, also by Sally Hansen. I'm truly in love with this top coat. After you apply it, it pretty much looks like it never dries because it looks wet even after it dries, guys. And if you like that nice shiny top coat, you definitely want to give this one a try. You won't be sorry. I mean, look at it. I love it. Okay, now because we used the lemon water earlier, it can dry out your cuticles a little bit, so always wanna use a cuticle oil. And today, I am gonna just use a Q-tip and I'm gonna put a dab of cuticle oils around each fingernail. And then I'm just gonna rub it in. And that just keeps our cuticles nice and moisturized. And there you have it, guys. That is our completed Salon Perfect Manicure. I love it, I hope you love it too. You can use any color you like, but you know, this was our winner for today. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.